what's up guys i'm back um i know it's been a few days i think uh just one day i didn't shoot anything yesterday because i was just beat and it didn't look like any of the games were interesting but i have a game that's very interesting to me that is the washington wizards versus portland trailblazers um trailblazers win in overtime which is freaking sweet. Um, we see uh, Damian Lillard step step up as a leader. Uh, we see people contributing off the bench, coming off the bench. Uh, the bench showed up when it needed uh, because, for the most part, yeah, pretty much uh, the f uh, front court of the Portland Trail Blazers did not show up at all. The bench had to uh, show up for them. So, 116 to 109, Washington Wizards. Um, let's look at the Wizards first. Um, because they're just going through injuries, um, mess-ups. Just can't get it done. And John Wall has to put up so much. This guy has not been injured yet, I think so. I think he's played every game. But there's so much he can do without anybody trying to really contribute. It's like people just put up points there and there, but nothing consistent. Beal, who's often been consistent, but he has been injured a lot and a lot and a lot. And he was out uh, for this game. Uh, there was nothing for, him, for nothing for him to do. Uh, John Wall is pretty much doing everything by himself couldn't get things done uh he 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 uh made 20 points eight out of 25 shooting which is very bad uh he had to put a lot on his shoulders um 11 assists two steals uh tempo eight points that's it um Groton had 19 points 10 rebounds but you uh, know he fouled out um Marcus Morris no Markeith Morris uh, eight points, four out of twelve shooting. Uh, Porter looking more and more terrible by the by the day. Uh, he's gonna he probably end up out of there sooner or later. They're gonna probably trade him next year or next off season, for sure. Um, let's look at the well. Let me just uh, uh look at some other parts. Um. Washington Wizards made the uh, Portland Trailblazers turn over the ball a lot. 20 turnovers, uh, they made the Trailblazers. That's one of the best things about this Washington Wizards team. They know how to uh, make turnovers out of these teams and use that for fast fast break points. Um, uh, the Washington Wizards only turned the ball 12 times. Uh, they passed the ball good, 26 assists, but that's still not enough. Um, so let's look at the Portland Trailblazers. Like I said, the front court did not show up. Amino didn't show up. This guy named Von Vonlik, um, the starting uh, power forward, he didn't show up. Mason Pumley didn't show up. The only people who sh uh, showed up who's constantly showed up all the time uh, for the starting lineup is obviously McCollum and, of course, my boy, Damian Leonard. Uh Damian Leonard has become one of my favorite players right now, if not one of my favorite um, point guards out there, and he's very underrated. Like Mike Conley, he, he's very underrated. At the highest, he didn't get a starting. Uh, he didn't get no All Star uh, appearance, and people have talked about him being in the MVP conversation. Of course, Stephen Curry is gonna get it, but he's making. He's gonna de uh, Damian Lillard is gonna be definitely in the all teams um, when it all comes to end. Um, so Damian Lillard had forty one points, eleven assists. Um, he, he pretty much showed up. He really showed up and he didn't turn the ball over uh, only once. That's it. Great. 
McCollum, 18 points, um, 7 out of 16 shooting. That's pretty decent. Uh, like he gave uh, some points. He gave um, Damian Lillard some backup. Um, like I said, the bench showed up. On uh, you have Davis giving you nine points. Uh, this guy Leonard with ten, um, spreading the floor, shooting outside shots, uh, three point shots. This boy Carby. And this boy Henderson, even though he shot badly, but that twelve points did provide good things for them. Uh, and we saw some sightings from Robert Brandon Roberts from Charlotte Hornets, who was traded here. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, the Portland Trailblazers did excellent. Um, this off season. They're going to definitely need someone in the power four spot to help them out. They need someone to fill the void of what was lost. And that was LaMarcus Aldridge. The guy was the but the man with Damian Lillard. With him gone, like the front court is like a no-show. You need you need some something down low. And I and I'm positive that they're going to get someone. They will definitely get someone in that uh power four spot. Or someone uh, in that front court center spot in a small forward spot too. So that's pretty much it for me. Um, another win for the Portland Trailblazers. Keeping their playoff hopes alive. They're still in the seventh spot. Uh, they're very close to the sixth spot with the Mavericks. But it is not over yet. The Houston Rockets can kick them out. And the... Utah Jazz is something is a team that are not supposed to be underestimated because they are a very good defensive team. Uh, so it's not over yet uh, to you uh, Portland Trail Blazers fans. It's not over yet, but you got to keep the momentum up. Um, this system they have is very good. Defensively, they are very, very good. It's just that they need more help. Damian Leonard needs help down low. So, but he's doing a fantastic job as being a leader, and he deserves all the credit. And also McCollum too. He does deserve the credit, and I believe he might. He's a very good candidate for um, most improved uh, of the year. If they don't count Stephen Curry as most improved, McCollum will definitely, definitely be that guy. So that's it for me. Talk to you later. Peace out.